Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Are you struggling to lose weight and wondering why it's so hard? Most people don't know there are different types of body fats, and each one needs a different approach to burn off. In this video, we'll only focus on types of these hidden fats. Understanding different types of body fats should be the first step to your fat loss journey. If you understand them better, you can target them effectively. First, we'll explore the types of body fats. Then we'll discuss the health risks associated with these fats. In the next video, we will discuss scientific strategies to target these fat types effectively. Before we begin, we invite you to subscribe to our channel for more scientific research and insights on health topics. There are mainly four types of fats in human body. The first one is subcutaneous fat. Subcutaneous fat is the type of fat stored directly under your skin. It's the fat you can pinch with your fingers and is often found in areas like your thighs, buttocks, and abdomen. While subcutaneous fat is generally less harmful than other types of fat, having too much of it can still lead to health issues. Excessive subcutaneous fat can contribute to obesity, which is associated with various health problems, such as joint pain and an increased risk of heart disease and diabetes. However, it's important to note that subcutaneous fat also plays a protective role by providing insulation and cushioning for your body. This type of fat provides insulation and protects our muscles and bones. Next, we have visceral fat. Visceral fat is stored around our internal organs. While it provides cushioning for our organs, excess visceral fat is linked to several health issues. Visceral fat is more concerning than subcutaneous fat because of its location and the health risks it poses. This type of fat is stored deep within the abdominal cavity, surrounding your internal organs like the liver, intestines, and pancreas. Excess visceral fat is linked to a higher risk of several serious health conditions. One major risk is heart disease, as visceral fat can increase blood pressure and cholesterol levels. It is also strongly associated with type 2 diabetes because it affects how your body responds to insulin. Additionally, visceral fat can contribute to inflammation and the release of harmful chemicals that may lead to chronic diseases, including certain cancers. The presence of visceral fat is often indicated by a larger waist circumference and a protruding belly. To give you some perspective, according to a study by the National Institutes of Health, higher levels of visceral fat are associated with a significantly increased risk of chronic diseases. For example, individuals with high visceral fat levels have a 30-40% higher risk of heart disease compared to those with lower levels. Additionally, the presence of excessive visceral fat can increase the likelihood of developing type 2 diabetes by about 60%. Then there's brown fat. Brown fat is a type of fat that burns calories to generate heat. It's mostly found in the neck and upper back and helps in thermoregulation, especially in newborn. Brown fat, in contrast to subcutaneous and visceral fat, is considered beneficial for your health. This type of fat burns calories to generate heat and helps regulate your body temperature. Research suggests that activating brown fat through exposure to cold temperatures or certain types of exercise can help with weight management and improve metabolic health. Brown fat is generally seen as advantageous because it aids in burning calories and can potentially protect against obesity and metabolic disorders. Finally, we have white fat, White fat is the most common type of fat in the body and serves as the primary storage of energy. It also plays a role in hormone production, including hormones that regulate insulin and appetite. While white fat is essential for maintaining energy balance, excessive amounts can lead to obesity. Excess white fat is particularly harmful because it increases the risk of developing metabolic syndrome, which includes conditions like high blood pressure, high blood sugar, abnormal cholesterol levels, and increased waist circumference. Metabolic syndrome significantly raises the risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. Thus, managing the amount of white fat in your body is crucial for overall health. Now that you know about the different types of body fat, you can better target them according to your health goals. If you want to know more about losing belly fats, we encourage you to watch our video on losing belly fats. 
In the next video, we will discuss the key strategies to get rid of these stubborn belly fats. If you are more interested in science-based health strategies, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. This will help us grow. Thanks for watching.